But even, even with all of the QT that they were doing, we were still inside of a very loose financial system. So what they did by raising these rates, even though we're seeing now, and we, I don't think, do you think that this is the end of it or do you think that there's more to come? In terms of the uh, banking crisis? Yes. Oh, I don't think it's the end. I, I think uh, the, I saw someone tweet, I think it was Gold Telegraph on Twitter, apparently the median uh, deposit in the US, bank deposit, it's just over $5,000. So SVB was mainly like a, a bank for the very venture. wealthy mm -hmm. venture capital. They, they had 97% mm -hmm. of deposits were over 250,000. Mm -hmm. So yeah, <laughs> I think the very, the very wealthy and corporations, they're going to say to themselves, we can't have millions in one bank. Uh, they're going to try to spread it around, even if they spread it around or put it with JP Morgan or one of the G SIBs, they call them, the uh, systemically uh, globally and systemically important banks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, they who's to say that it would be okay with JP Morgan? Uh, and uh, can the FD the FDIC only has, I think, 125 billion uh, mm -hmm. in assets? So I think right. there is a yeah. It's all deposits, 100% of all deposits are now backstopped. Who are they really trying to save? Yeah, and, and I think how how much is there in deposits? 17 trillion or something? How can 125 billion really do anything? And uh, I, I think uh, the mainstream media, even though I don't watch the mainstream media, the business news, I just spoke to someone saying, and they said, well, they're trying to really patch it up. You know, they're saying everything's fine. And I listened yesterday uh, to, uh, U.S. Uh, House of Representative uh, guy called uh, I forgot. His, let's see, Jeff Jackson. He's from North Carolina, and he was on TikTok, and uh, he said, "Oh, it's 2 a.m. I've just come from this Zoom meeting with the U.S. Treasury. All the members of Congress are there, and he said everything's fine. Don't worry. The FDIC has covered everything. They, they've covered all the deposits." Uh, there is no problem. And I looked at his uh, details and he's a Democrat from North Carolina and he had 2.9 million views. So they're really trying hard to oh, yeah. tell look, that everything's fine. But I think the people with the billions and or hundreds of million, uh, I don't think uh, maybe this was a wake up call to them. Uh, to, they realized that. Um, yeah, there is no money in the banks. It's all it's all credit, like JP Morgan would have said. There's none of this anymore, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> there's none of this, but there's a whole lot of debt and a whole That's lot of right. currencies that just yeah. do not exist anymore. And I noticed that uh, one of the guys who started taking uh, his money out from SVB uh, one of the first people was Peter Thiel of Palantir, the guy who also co-founded PayPal. Uh, last year, Palantir announced that they bought $50 million worth of physical gold. So, you know, Jeff, Peter, that's Peter, his vote. Yeah, Peter Thiel and these people know. know. So, yeah, I, I, I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't think it's, over by any stretch of the, you know, any stretch of the imagination. Maybe there there's might be another uh, mine <laughs> that will explode in another part of the world, but uh, this has done a lot of damage and uh, it's not over yet. Yeah, I, I think the biggest, you know, you brought it up. It's that credibility piece. It's that confidence piece. And, you know, the markets, I mean, we've been watching that confidence piece and that credibility piece erode over time, you know, and everything people need to understand that everything kind of seems to happen slowly until it happens fast. And so the time to get in position is when, I mean, have we bought ourselves a little bit of a reprieve in here? Maybe. It looks like it. And uh, I've spoken to people and I said, if I was one of these uh, venture capitalists or had billings in the bank, 
I would be running to uh, not transfer it to JP Morgan, but maybe get some physical gold and silver. But then again, yeah. <laughs> a lot of these people think uh, a lot of people think gold and silver are uh, risky, even though they've had isn't uh, that crazy? They've been for, value for thousands of years. Yeah, and they're used in every sector of the global economy. So that means it has the broadest base of functionality, the broadest base of demand, but the paper contracts are really risky. Sure, because they're not real and you can't really even collect on them. With this, you hold it, you own it, you've got some, I've got some, smart money has a lot. Look at what the central banks have been doing. Look at what Peter's been doing. That should be a wake up call when the smartest guys in the room on any given topic are getting into position for themselves. So it, I think it should be more of a wake up call to the public, to the general public, that your wealth is not safe in that system. Definitely not. And I think what's gonna happen though is a lot of people don't have 250,000 or more in the bank. So they're just gonna leave it there or keep keep it in uh, Federal Reserve uh, currency, which is fiat. And it's gonna keep getting diluted because it's impossible for the dollar to, to do well when the government and the Fed 100% guarantee 17 trillion. I mean, it, it's getting like Zimbabwe and Venezuela like, I would say. Oh, that is a really, really good point. And, and so what, what does that mean to the public? It means, you know, you can hold it in the banking system, but it doesn't matter how many, we get blinded by numbers. It doesn't matter how many numbers you have. It matters what you can convert it into, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, the purchasing power of the dollar is gonna keep dropping. And also of uh, our currency here in the UK, uh, also the euro and all other currencies the canadian dollar australian mm -hmm. I, I think uh, the australian dollar is making all-time highs uh, versus gold uh, it did recently so it, it's going to happen everywhere even in china i would say well there are a hundred of uh, reportedly 190 uh, companies or banks that have been impact no companies that have been impacted by what happened with SVB all over the world. And there are lots of calls of action on your neck of the woods over in Great Britain. So can you explain more about, you know, how and why and what you think about that? Yeah, I think uh, 200 of these FinTechs, uh, venture capital, small tech companies or startups, they sent a letter and all their CEOs or chiefs signed it to the chancellor, I think over the weekend, mm -hmm. because for some reason, they all banked with SVB, SVB UK, and that's going on there as well. And uh, they, well, they bailed them out, even though they're calling it, they're not calling it a bailout. Right. So what they, the government did, and the Bank of England, they met with HSBC and SVB UK, and they engineered a, a purchase of SVB UK, not SVB, the whole bank, but just the UK arm uh, by HSBC for one pound. <laughs> so, and I heard rumors, this is just rumors that HSBC was very exposed to SVB UK, but I, I think it's outrageous that we have to basically bail out the taxpayers to bail out the uh, venture capital firms that probably, exactly. uh, I would say 90, 90, 95% of them won't succeed anyway. But we have this mentality, not just here, but everywhere in the West, that governments have to help business. And uh, here they think that we are like the center of fintech and we can't let these uh, firms fail. And the other thing I would add is a lot of these firms are involved in payment system Yes. Uh, even blockchain. So th they they were they're probably going to be heavily involved in the Bank of England digital currency because the Bank of England is saying that the CBDC wallet is not going to be provided by the Bank of England but by third parties. So can you imagine if they had let all these uh, 200 companies collapse? That would have uh, 
delayed, I think, their plans for a digital currency, probably by a few years, 